country became a member of Glo Global Learning and Observation for Benefit the Environment on the August 24, uh, 1998 by initiative and coordination of the Ministry of the Environment and Planet. Our students, the students from the primary school, Dimitar Miladinov, are measuring the temperature of the air, minimal, maximal and current, the temperature of the ground, the humidity of the air, the atmospheric pressure, the amount of rainfall and the cloudness. The collected dat data uh, by the internet are important in the only world's base of data. Until now we have imported more than 11,000 data. Our previous students a couple of times were looking for proofs for the climate changes in Macedonia. They were comparing temperatures in the same time of the year and they found out something very important. My classmate Thea in 2009 worked, what's happening in Macedonia? From my measurements I found out. The temperatures in some periods of the year increase enormously and in others they decrease. So there is a minimal difference in values of the average annual temperatures. That kind of temperatures affect the climate in Macedonia and so it changes. We don't have harsh cold winters or hot, or hot summers anymore. This year we explore the humidity of the air and we compare that with the last years. The average humidity in 2008 was 67%. In 2009 the amount is 71%. That means we had a higher humidity in 2009 to 4%. In 2010, the average humidity amounts to 72%, so it increases. Typical for 2008 is that the rainfalls were usually in the late afternoon, while in 2009 and 2010, the rains were in the morning. That's why our graph for 2009 and 2010 has twice as many days with humidity of 100%. On a similar project worked in Amelia in 2010, and she wrote, The annual fluctuations of the air temperature in the last two years are with smaller values. In 2008, it was 50 degrees Celsius, just like in 2009, it was 50 degrees Celsius. That's the difference of the annual absolute maximum and the annual absolute minimum temperature. In the 50s and 60s, the fluctuations of the temperature amounted to 70 degrees Celsius. That is just a proof that the climate in Macedonia really changes. We don't have harsh winters and hot summers anymore. It took over the moderate climate. A proof of changing climate are in plants that couldn't survive on our soil before, but today they are successfully grown and with bigger yields.